Hi, in this video we will work with a commonly used uh, UI, that's user interface uh, component, uh, the list view. Now to give you some context uh, on why the list view uh, is useful, uh, I'm going to use the Codica project uh, that I did on codica.com. So uh, I'll just show you the first actually screen so that you get an idea what's the list view. So actually this is uh, the list view uh, component. So it just uh, lists several items and if you click or tap on your device on a certain item then you get uh, the next page. Now let's go on and build it. So I created as you can see a, a new page on a new HTML page on Dreamweaver based on the first video uh, of uh, the course which was the about uh, HTML uh, page. So as you can see uh, I haven't saved it yet so it starts with a doc type HTML which specifies that this is an HTML5 document. I indented uh, properly the code that uh, the initial code that Dreamweaver uh, had created and then I titled it uh, as PR8 since this is the application that I'm developing is to support uh, the course, the IMEM course of PR8 just gave it some more uh, meaningful titles. So it's the index page. I have the three links to the jQuery libraries necessary to give uh, my content that uh, mobile friendly look. And then I created one page by using the div uh, tag using the data role attributes and have a header, a content and a footer. Inside the header I have the h3 tag as well as in the footer. So before actually creating the uh, list view, I'm gonna uh, give some content to the header. So this is about the PR8 uh, app. And I'm just gonna put my links or some information about the developer on the footer. Now the list view obviously is gonna go in uh, the div tags with a data role, in the div tag with data role content. And to create the list view, we will use, we must use the UL, that's the unordered list tag. Now, uh, for that, uh, again, we need to use the data role attribute. So the data role, in this case, must take the value list view and further in order to actually list uh, items in that uh, list view we need to use the li that's the list item tag and give it some text meaningful text so this is going to be my item which links to the about page going to save this page on uh, the same uh, folder with the about HTML, which was my first video, and I'm gonna name it index HTML since this is gonna be the index, in other words, the first page or the first screen that uh, my users are gonna see in my mobile app. Now, once I saved it, I could uh, preview it on Dreamweaver. So as you can see, this is uh, the list view item uh, right here. Now, since I want this to link to the about HTML page, I need to use the anchor, that's the A tag, and give it, give the attribute href the value of about HTML. Now, if I preview it, then you see that it's gonna slightly change so it's going to actually have uh, this arrow which indicates that this is a link. And if I would click it, what actually happens is I see the content of the about HTML page which was uh, created in the first video of the series. Now, uh, since I want to have more uh, pages in my application, 
then I'm, I'm just gonna create those so as the same case well, I can just uh, copy and paste also the code so I'm gonna create an anchor for the learning objectives and since I don't have the page yet I'm gonna give the href uh, attribute um, this value which is the the pound symbol since I don't have uh, the page let me review the project that I create on Codica so the second link that I want is lecturers the third link is weekly topics and the final is students so I'm just gonna go back to my index.html and create those so I'm just gonna copy actually and paste the list you item so now I have this one is gonna be about the lecturers and then there was one more about the weekly topics and finally one which was titled students so I'll save now the page and if I would preview it then you see that I have my list you item well if I would click to any link except the about link nothing would happen because I don't have actually those pages linked yet as you can see here in the code now some other uh, options for the list your item is uh, uh, the data theme so actually you could theme uh, your uh, UI components by using uh, the data theme attribute now uh, by default uh, it is A however if I would use B and uh, Dreamweaver helps us in that uh, and if I would preview you're gonna see that uh, basically the color of the items and the color of the image displayed here on the right that arrow right arrow image changes there are several uh, built-in uh, themes so C would be a gray one and D would be a light gray one and E would give it a yellow color well I'm gonna go with uh, the default A and in the same way we could also change the data theme of other UI objects components I should say like uh, the header so as you saw the data theme C resembles a little bit the iOS looks uh, so no was it I think it was I'm mistaken so it was B and C for that let me see if I get yeah that's the look more or less that I was looking for so a a blue for the header a light gray for the items and I'm also gonna change the look of the footer in order to do that well I need to go to the div tag which has data roll footer and includes the data theme and also give it a value of B I think it was yeah that's right so I'm gonna save it and then preview and that's indeed the look that I'm I wish to have now a final thing about the about options that you can add in the list view well now going to inside an a tag and adding the attribute data transition 
well the data transition uh, as you saw from the preview previously the default data transition is the slides but you could actually choose from uh, several others so one would be for example slide up let's choose slide up and let's see what happens you could preview it remember that I only have one link that's the about so if I would click that then you see well it doesn't clearly show in the preview but actually now the transition is not more in a slide but slide up uh, or you could uh, you could use the fade so it's not really visible here in the preview but it will be visible on the device as I said the, the default transition is slide so I'm gonna choose that this should be more visible so the idea you get is that you get a left slide it's not really visible in the preview but will be visible on your device so that's uh, more or less uh, the list view than UI component